Fish Tank TV. Uh, it's been a while since I showed the 90 gallon, not since my 200th subscriber video. So it's been about two weeks since that's happened. Um, when I went to Hawaii, the, these two bulbs here went out. So for a whole week, I just got new lights for a whole week. Um, it was all dark, but it's looking really good here. Hopefully, I don't get an algae boom. Boom. But uh, what I really wanted to show you guys was um, the pygmy quarry cats. This is a fish I was going to talk about. I thought most of them died out. I just saw like 10 of them school. I have like about like 15. Um, they were just here a second ago. I don't know where they went. You could have caught them in the beginning of the video. But if you see, I have this tank is pretty damn planted for not having not having substrate like dirt or um, eco complete or ADA or aqua soil or any of that stuff or fluorite um, it's just normal gravel believe it or not and I don't do CO2 what I do do is um, I think I have eight hours a day Maybe it could be 10 now, so, but I do, do, I do use a siesta break, which is I turn off the lights for an hour in between the photo period. So the lights will go on for five hours and then it'll turn off for an hour and it'll go back on for another five hours. And what that does is um, when the lights are off, the CO2 levels in the water will actually restore because the plants don't take up CO2 when the lights are off. When the lights are off, they absorb oxygen. So it's kind of a reverse of what they do in the, in the daylight. And so if you can turn off the lights and give your plants a break, they will actually do a lot better than if you were to have the lights on all the time. And those are the Venezuelan quarry cats. These are um, these are really cool. These are, I think they're the same breed as bronze quarry. They're just a different color morph. And I this guy is really cool. Not this one. One of them over here has all black eyes. That one right there. They're almost like a dark blue. And I just found him like this ram in here is super shy. He will not want to come out. I'm right now. I'm trying to look for my scarlet baddest, but I have no luck. I guess I could talk about sea chem. I use almost strictly a sea chem products for this tank because my water is so low in pH and it's soft. I have to use buffers, and um, this is what does the trick. I forgot who asked about K. Okay, I think it was Robert. Maybe sorry if I butchered your name. Um, this is really good for raising um, potassium. I heard it has a lot of potassium in there. It has, yep, it's right there. I don't know if you can see. 23% um, potassium, so it's nice to have. You can see my hydrophilia has been thriving. But I, I lost what I was saying. I'm sorry. I, over my head these guys are the same and eventually I want to just do a tank just with only those quarries that pepper quarries because they've been here for years and they bred in here as well so that's it I guess I'll shut up for now and uh, let you guys watch me feed them the rest of these There's a ram. Now if I can only get those pygmy quarries, I really like them a lot. They really like to hang out in this little area right here. 
I have a lot of like um, caves and stuff in here. Here's another cockatoides. I need to clean the glass. But um, if anybody wants a cockatoides, I think it's a male. And if you're in BC, um, please let me know, and I'll probably get you guys for a good price. They're color they're coloring up pretty well. So that's it. Um, my SAE freaks out a lot. She's I think she needs some other people, but I heard she needs some more SAEs. But I heard they're really territorial. There's another ram back there, hidden pretty well. And I think they're loving it, and I'm loving it too. So uh, let me know. That I'll try to get those pygmy quarries on tape. If I ever see him again. And, uh, yeah, this video is mainly for all the new subscribers, so. I'm not sure if you guys know about this tank. It's kind of like my main tank. Other tanks I do are, um, nano tanks, so. But, thanks for checking it out. And I'll give you guys a side view before I leave. Also thinking about getting a bunch of cherry shrimps, like buying like a fifty of them. Might be pricey. <laughs> okay, peace out.